This is the Classic Hits 93.1 Celebrity Couch. Hi, I'm Frank Murphy. Today we're joined by the Devil and Faust, and by that I mean Donovan Singletary, who plays <laughs> Mephistopheles, a.k.a. the Devil, in the title role with Knoxville Opera, and with Cody Austin, who plays that poor sap Faust. <laughs> the victim. Who I thought was old, but then becomes young in the play, so obviously that's how they have you do that, is you change from old to young back to old in, in the opera, right? Yes, I do. All yes, right. I do. But the magic and spectacle of the stage. Awesome. And speaking of young, Donovan Singletary, what is the youngest guy to uh, join the Metropolitan Opera? Is that what I heard? Or the youngest guy to do some famous thing that you did? Um, yeah, there were a few things. I, uh, I was the youngest guy to win the competition, the Met ah. competition, and the youngest one to be uh, uh, entered into the Young Artist Program. Now, program. at this point, guess which one's the bass and which one's the tenor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, first of all, very cool. Metropolitan Opera, of course, is you know the major league, so you must be pretty thrilled about the New York Metropolitans finally making the playoffs after all these years. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really <laughs> follow the baseball. <laughs> but... I'm just teasing. Oh, okay. because, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just totally teasing because the I real do. name, the full name of the New York Mets, is uh -huh. the New York Metropolitans. Uh -huh. So, and you're, so right, I was thinking how funny it is right. to say, oh yeah, he's with the, the Mets in New York, <laughs> yeah, over there. They, I'm, sure, I'm sure people think that. <laughs> They've been horrible for years. So I, I'm, know. I, I have a friend of mine that he is overjoyed that they finally are going to make the playoffs. So. Hey, I, I grew up as a Mets fan. My dad was a Mets fan and a Met fan because we grew up in New York. Mm -hmm. And he and my mom would go to the Metropolitan. It was mm -hmm. a big deal. They'd talk about the opera all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, in fact, one of these opera singers that my dad kind of knew played... Uh, Mephistopheles in oh. a production of it many, many years ago. Hmm. And I didn't know that until I looked up Wikipedia, but mm -hmm. you know, I knew it now, which is pretty cool. So let's talk That's about the, awesome. the story just a little bit. Um, let's start with Donovan. Give me a little background on the what's the story of Mephistopheles, and then Cody, you pick up when your sure. part comes in. Uh, well, basically, um, Faust is this uh, philosopher, and he's still sort of tired with his life. It's my part. Oh, okay. Well, then switch. That's my part. What? Oh, you want me? You want me to talk? I was going to give like a like an overview of the he opera. He is not a tenor. He's not talking about himself. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. So, so I'm. Right, you talk about him. I'm and the he devil. Talks about I'm you. the devil, and I want to take Faust's soul. I yeah. uh, challenge God. Well, God, I ma make a, a challenge to God uh, that I can win Faust over him. And uh, I, I go in pursuit of Faust's soul, basically, mm -hmm. for, the, for the opera. Offering him youth and youth love. Youth and love and, and sex the beautiful... and oh, everything. Yeah. Margarita. Yeah. 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 Orgies. Yeah, that's in there. Alcohol. All There's the fun a baby. Stuff. Yep. Well, I don't think he wants the baby, but no. the baby happens. <laughs> 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 the baby happens. And. Um, yeah, I offer him all of the all of the worldly things. And this that is he wants. Uh, you're lusting after margarita, which is my favorite type of pizza. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he finds he finds the most beautiful woman that I can have in margarita, mm -hmm. and th uh, we're so blessed to have Julia Lima play, and she's mm -hmm. she's just gorgeous, and uh, he gives me all of the the desires of my heart, really, yes. just whatever it is that I that I desire, that mm -hmm. or everything uh, from the best things that you could possibly have. Right. And, and after you ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Well, it, it turns out that, you know, having the best things, having uh, the lavish things, having um, orgies, having sex, having uh, alcohol, having everything, whatever mm -hmm. it is, the, the desires of your heart are the yeah. best, you know, it doesn't always turn and pan out to be the best thing. Exactly. Which then leads to uh, Margarita. Um, actually, uh, I give her a little vial of a potion to mm. make her mom fall asleep I, like, because of poison. him. It's poison. poison. It's, poison. it's, it's right. not really. So yeah, okay. sleep is right. really more for dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> supposed to be, she's supposed to fall asleep because, you know, her yeah. margarita is so, you know, um, she's pure. She's pure and she can't, you know. She, so can't. she doesn't want to go out carousing while mom's awake. So No, say, hey, and her yes. mom is very, very. Give mom some of this ambient. Yes, <laughs> exactly, <lot>. exactly. <laughs> and it ends, up, it ends up killing her mom and then oh. she ends up having a baby, ends up killing the baby. Oh, it's just, it, but it's tragedy. As Mephistopheles, a.k.a. the devil, then you can just bend time, space, and whatever and, mm -hmm. and take him back to where? I, uh, we go to Greece. 
Yeah. Yeah, for Hill and Troy. No. Where yeah, did we go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Actually, we took that out. In this office. Yeah. In, <laughs> oh. in the real show. Yeah. But he, that's I was what he's talking about. I, I, look, hey. You're right. You're here's right. What I, here's what I know Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. No, but, but, we, but we, we've cut that out of the show. So we right. actually don't go and you don't get to meet Helen of Troy, which oh, is well. going to be another one of his lovers. But that doesn't happen in this show. We cut All it out. Right. Well, I'm sorry about that. I've had enough trouble trying to pronounce Mephistopheles. <laughs> <laughs> But well, it's, it's very cool, by the way. Mephistopheles is at the Tennessee Theater, October 9th and 11th. It's a Friday night and a Sunday afternoon. And Knoxville Opera is staging this production. It's the first time it's been done in Tennessee. Even with, the, with having not been able to do that part, the whole thing is massive with the oh, it's huge. orchestra yeah. pit elevator. Instead of putting the orchestra down there, they're using it as... They don't have enough room down there. There's yeah. 200, over 200 people in this opera. Yeah. Wow. Literally. Like, we, we just did a, a, a rehearsal, a Zitz probe, and we had... There are bandas over there, a zitz probe where you just you sit down and you have the orchestra. And you're, I yeah. thought that was something my dermatologist did. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is a zitz probe? It's where you sit right. and and the yeah. orchestra works through. Oh, okay. And right. There's there's literally two two bandas and then there was an orchestra over there, yeah. orchestra orchestra on the they stage, were everywhere. like four different choirs behind us. I mean, right. it's a well, that, huge that production. That explains some of the bizarre Facebook posts I got from friends who were in the choir mm -hmm. last night. I'm like, what are they talking about now? <laughs> understand All right. <laughs> oh yeah it's yeah you know a lot, a lot it's so funny because a lot of people said have every time that uh people ask me oh you're doing what you're doing Mephistopheles and I said yeah yeah I'm doing that where are you gonna do that yeah, it hasn't been done since like the year 2000 in like New York or something yeah. like that yeah. San Francisco and they're yeah. just like what per, what opera who company is, is gonna who's crazy enough to do this huge Brian Zaleski yes <laughs> say that again Brian, Brian Zaleski is crazy enough to do Mephistopheles but, but it's gonna come together it's gonna be amazing yeah, like people who fun. miss it are, are don't yes. even realize what you, they're missing they gotta come you now, of course, come. here at, uh, at WNOX, we're doing a ticket giveaway from Mephistopheles. Oh, nice. I make everybody pronounce it, by oh, the okay. way. I teach them the right way. But also, in addition, <laughs> in addition to the tickets, Knoxville <laughs> Opera, Abby and Michael made up some devil horns, which I assume nice. they got from Oriental Trading Company. <laughs> but, uh, but look at the... Um, can I still say that? Or is it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. If I look at the label they made with uh, the, you know, you guys on there, Mephistopheles. It's pretty nice. cool stuff. Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Mephistopheles. You know, yeah. this, this reminds me of play the best song in the world, or I'll eat your soul. Jack Black tribute. Nobody. <laughs> oh. nobody, nobody. Jack Black tribute. That's what we, it is. We don't get a lot of Tenacious D references here on the show. <laughs> Tenacious D. There you go. <laughs> you know, I mean, I appreciate that. Yeah, oh, that's God. the bit is we're playing, um, you know, classic hits that have the devil in it, like Sympathy for the Devil or Devil Went Down to Georgia, in order, that's uh, the trigger to call mm -hmm. to win the horns right. and the ah, sacred stuff. Cool. Awesome, so awesome, awesome. That is a lot of fun that we're having with it. That's cool. And now this production is kind of the bookend of a crazy season at Knoxville Opera, because in addition to the opera that only Knoxville Opera's crazy enough to put on. You should read up on what they're doing in the spring with Tosca. I know. Oh, the three different locations. Yeah. The church, and they're doing that sort of outside pavilion sort of yeah. thing. And I don't, what's uh, the, the third, third one is in a The third at the convention center. Convention center. Yeah. Convention but, center. So they're moving it around from th the cast, the orchestra, the audience has to move from scene one to scene two, or act one to act two to act three. Yeah, I think the first scene is actually in the church, the yep. second scene is in the convention center, exactly. and then the third scene is in that outdoor, yeah. beautiful, it's white, it's gorgeous. it looks like the Sydney Opera House. Yeah. It's really it's neat. Yeah. yeah, that was built for the 1982 World's Fair. Oh, that was oh, also, really? I know the Sun Spear was, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that pavilion you're talking Everything about. We went was. there, yeah, we went you there. did? Yeah, oh, all the way from Spear. All the way from Liberal Kansas, or oh, when you were Ah, <laughs> you looked me up. I was at Liberal Kansas. Every huh? Every DJ worth his salt knows that the pancake races are held in Liberal Kansas. <laughs> 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 On I Shrove, was born in Liberal Kansas. <laughs> on Shrove Tuesday, it's an obligation as a DJ to call Liberal Kansas and ask who won the pancake race. <laughs> well, you also <laughs> should know this. It's the home of Dorothy. Of the Wizard of Oz. Well, check that out. Oh, yeah. They got the... They got the uh, uh, Golden Brick, not Golden Bricks, no, what are, what Yellow are they? Brick Road. Yellow Brick Road, why am I so thinking? Close. I was born there, Yellow Brick Road, <laughs> they used to have all of the munchkins come, munchkins come there, no, and, oh, I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know, all the way until, you know, yeah. awesome. they got the house. And uh, Donald, you're from Florida. I am from Crestview, Florida, um, and we won 
Um, <laughs> <but I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, please don't hate me. <laughs> what did you win? Still come no, we won. Bob, we beat Tennessee. The Gators. Oh, the Gators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 people were terribly, terribly upset about that. I'm sorry. I used to play football too, so oh, did you? I was yeah. a defensive end. So I'm, you know, I, I, you know, that's pretty cool to have Singletary on the back of your football jersey. Right? Everyone was like, "Was Mike your dad?" I'm like, "No." I'm like, "I don't know Mike. I don't know Mike." I should have started claiming him. Maybe I can get some show, get some free stuff. Yeah, really. Right. Yeah. Well, excellent. All right. Well, Mephistopheles Faust. October 9th and 11th, go to KnoxvilleOpera.com or give them a call at 524-0795 to get your tickets. It's going to be an amazing show. Um, I'll be there. I'm taking my wife. And awesome. Yeah. awesome. Cool. A lot of our friends are in that uh, opera choir, so uh, oh, nice. do keep an eye out for those guys. And, sure. and i got to meet Margarita now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> All right. This is fantastic. Again, Donovan Singletary and uh, Cody Austin, the bass lieutenant. Him you gotta buy tickets. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta buy tickets. You gotta buy tickets to hear him. <laughs> this is the Classic Hits 93.1 Celebrity Couch. I'm Frank Murphy. Thanks for watching.